Mike Hill. We call this video, So You Want to Play Chess. So I think the first thing I should do is show you the chessboard. If that's what this always is, it's always a game of leverage. It's a game of chess. So, when I left you last, I was sending a package to the FBI of Boston, Bedford, New Hampshire, and the people in Harrisburg and Pennsylvania who are just about ready to make over 200 arrests now. Turns out there may be some in New Hampshire and Massachusetts from that same RICO uh, arrests that are going down in Pennsylvania. I wonder why they could be arresting people, say, for instance, mass. Could you say bribery on getting that casino license? Because if you've got something else, I'm willing to listen. But you do remember I called it. Okay, so we have a dilemma. The board's tightening up. Pieces are moving fast on all sides. Penn National goes, listen, boys, we got a problem. Turns out this asshole is a hero in horse racing. Yeah, and if we have him come out like that, they're going to believe everything he's saying. What goes on in New Hampshire and Massachusetts, in the courtrooms and the politicians. Because quite literally, it involves some of them. Right. So, let's keep playing the game. Remember, now it's moving fast. Every piece these people have have moved in the last 10 days in the direction of escape. That's fine, as long as you think you're going to get out. My chessboard tells me a different story. Now, you might also be looking at my chessboard and knowing, listen, we got to get out. No, I come with certain requirements, right? A certain amount of ethics and decency that I'm sure you people are not willing to pay. But I digress. Let's go on. See these pieces moving? Motion to dismiss. Motions to dismiss. Well, that's lining them all up. Now, at the end of this tape, you're going to see a hearing in my divorce where my ex-wife lied outrageously about transferring a, a farm for 620000 omitted it, didn't say it, lied emphatically on her affidavit. Now, look at the clip. But I'm going to explain what you really are looking at. You see? Because this truth is always beyond what's obvious. That judge is giving her and leaving her alimony of the same because they have to have a deal with her. They need her mouth shut which they know I can go back in. So you know what? It is a move to make the deal. Every piece is in line. But I want you to watch the corruption in that courtroom. When Kelly Ayotte, she has a six-year-old and a nine-year-old, I want you to really look what happened in that divorce court. You can lie on an affidavit. I asked the judge, she goes, you need a lawyer. I go, can you read it? I want you to look it. Threaten to sanction me? Go ahead. You know why I threatened with him opening up that divorce? Because he knows how many monsters are hidden behind that that he has to protect. It's all a game of chess, quite literally. They're playing it with your children, with the honesty of the court. That's what you're seeing. So here's all the pieces, and I remind the people in the FBI, I will be selling more packages to you. Let me see, the last package you got puts a senator in jail, president of a law firm in jail, brings it right to the doorstep of the U.S. attorney, fraud on the court, oh, attempted murder, and that was just for starters. So now that you've accepted the package and you've talked to Dallas Sedgwick, who's connected with Ross and Kakavas, then I expect things to happen. Or is this why they're happening now? You see, I play chess too. And I play it better than you do. You wonder? Ask yourself, have you ever been in this kind of spot before? And did you think you were going to get to this spot? 
Now, now, just in closing, I've shown you a sign about the people running and all the corruption. And how do you win? Well, I wouldn't go through all this trouble if I couldn't win. Remember, I've won more races than anybody's ever lived. I know how to win. Here you go. You give them all immunity. The lawyers, the judges, the senators, the governor. Here you go. The secretary at the DRA who knows that they're corrupt. The agent at the banking commission that knows they're corrupt. The clerks at the IRS who necessarily work for Tim Powell, you know is corrupt. We give them all immunity. Every one, each and every one of them. All we ask for you to do is be honest, tell us everything, and you have to leave your position. If you're a judge, you resign. If you're a lawyer, you resign. But you leave free. Then you start getting them. One after another. Maybe a senator first. And we let them go. You're going to have a hard time letting them all go, particularly when you know how crime-ridden we've been. But that's the cost of justice. Goodbye. But if you stay, everything said criminally, we can attach to you, we will. And we will have you go to prison if we can put you in prison. The full course of justice. Now, watch them leave. And watch them talk. And you get to clean up the state. We get to start with honesty. And make that our first rule. Make justice our first rule of order. There you go. And it all goes away in a day. And when I tell you they're going to hit the door running, they will. Please watch this hearing. Kelly Ayotte, I want you to watch this hearing. There was no such thing as a preliminary hearing. That whole hearing was to know what I have financially. So they know how to strategize going further. That's all that happened in there. That's it. It was strategy. You got to watch it. Just remember, they don't have heart on that affidavit. Too bad. Because I got a lot of that. Thanks. I sent her a copy of my affidavit. That should have been the first thing that she should realize. All you had to do was read the affidavit here. I'd like to say that she submitted a false affidavit to this court last time. I'd also like to say that the property that we had in Summersworth, she had sold. So the affidavit she created was a lie. But she says her income doesn't yeah, change. I object. Well, I have the deed. She doesn't come here with an affidavit, Your Honor. Sir. How are we moving forward? You know why she doesn't have an affidavit? Because it's a lie and she doesn't want you to see it. Sir. And compare the two. I'm saying I've been a deed that shows a transfer that she came in this court, postponed the closing four days to close it. She said in this court that it was $40,000 a month. Mr. I mean, a year. Yes. You know what? No. So what we will do, I'm going to like to make a request to open up the divorce again. That's what we'll do. Well. Because you don't want to see the perjury. Sir. You don't want to see the evidence. So you don't want to see any evidence, Your Honor. And you don't want anything. For instance, she's got that we're paying, she's paying taxes on Summersworth. We're paying taxes on Summersworth. That's 5,500 in expenses that aren't true. That's 620,000 she has in the bank that said she had none. That's not only right. I want to include the evidence and the petition, the fact when I signed that, she was perjured herself on the information on that. So my position is further from that position of cutting in half to all of the alimony received. All of it. You know, alimony that has already been paid? Not already been paid, but my request is that alimony is eliminated. I also have evidence, other evidence that's submitted to the court on perjury, transferring titles. There's no question on what happened here. On the affidavit, they said that it was untruthful. They would be subject for arrest and perjury. Is that true? Mr. Gill, if you 
want legal advice. No, no, no. I'm it's reading it from the affidavit that the court, your court rules provides me and what it says. Mr. Steele, if you want legal advice on the documentation file, you seek legal advice. I don't give legal advice. Okay? No, I'm just saying it's the affidavit that this court will produce. I understand what you're saying. So okay. I don't give so you legal So you do realize advice. it does say that, though. Sir, I don't give you legal advice. But you read it. Mr. Gill, let me caution you. Yeah. You need to conduct yourself in a proper manner in this court. I am, Your Honor. Asking me whether or not I can read is not proper. So oh, I'm going to caution you. You're not answering a question that so you know the answer to. I'm going to caution you, sir, that if you do not show the proper respect in this court, I can sanction you. Go ahead. Did you know Judge McHugh signed that fee agreement? Yes, sir. You know we spent five minutes in this divorce on corruption? We're not going there. I'm going there. Not today, you are not. Well, not today, but we will revisit it. All right. And so, so will you. 